A Colorado Springs man has been arrested, accused of trying to meet up with what he thought was a 14 year old child for sex. The arrest coming just one day after we aired footage of a vigilante group confronting the accused predator. At the time, Colorado Springs police were pretty upset with the tactics used by Colorado Ped Patrol. But as KRDO News Channel 13 Spencer Soisher has learned, police ultimately ended up using evidence that group collected to make the arrest. At this point, you potentially lost us any yeah, person. That's terrible. That's so terrible. the vigilante stuff is yeah. actually... We got 55, 45 arrests. This video was taken on August 11th, the Colorado Springs police officer telling Colorado Pet Patrol that they weren't going to arrest the man in this video. On that day, Pet Patrol leader Tommy Fellows showed responding officers a chat log from the dating app Grinder. A separate video seems to show 39-year-old Keith Worrell admitting that he was up to something illegal. Who are you here to meet today? Who, who did you invite over today? I invited somebody I thought was 18 over. Uh, be, come on, man. I, I, got, I got all the chat logs. I can call the police right now or we can be honest. I got all the chat logs. I, I thought he was, there was somebody coming over. He was underage. How but officers left the scene without interviewing Worrell. Police saying what Pet Patrol gave them wasn't enough. Somebody would have to have the probable cause to effect a lawful arrest. And that's not given to us by somebody saying, I had a conversation online. According to CSPD, there wasn't enough probable cause at the time for an arrest, saying these videos weren't police Mirandized interviews. Another problem in the arrest affidavit, Worrell initially told police that he, quote, believed the other party to be 18 and asked them twice to confirm this. One has to be 18 years old to create a grinder account. Despite that, Fellows believes his target knew what he was doing. You have to be 18 to be on that app. Um, so nowhere was it said that we ever confirmed that we were 18. Actually, several times um, we confirmed him that we were 14. CSPD made their arrest after conducting several follow-up interviews with Worrell, where he eventually confirmed that the chat logs provided by Colorado Ped Patrol were accurate. And officers ended up acting on Pet Patrol's evidence after telling them that they shouldn't be doing what they do. CSPD declined to speak to us today for this follow-up. If convicted, Worrell faces up to six years in prison and a $500,000 fine.